What's good, it's Mr. J. Today, doing a little different of a reaction. I'm about to react to the tragic, li <laughs> the tragic life story of Meg The Stallion. Um, it's just because really, I want to do a little bit more things with the channel. Plus, I react to Meg so much, I want to know like a little bit more about like her story and everything. I'm guessing that she's going to talk more about like the Tory thing, but I'm uh, thinking it might have more in there. Who knows? But... Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. Let's get to it. Megan Thee Stallion confirmed she was shot. There's a lot of different reports online regarding an incident involving Megan Thee Stallion and rapper Tory Lanez. Yes, this nigga Tory shot me. I didn't tell the police nothing because I didn't want us to get in no more trouble than what we was already about to get in. Megan Thee Stallion stands out for her talent, strength, and confidence, but what some people don't know about her is all the obstacles she had to overcome to be where she is now. Bullying, tragic deaths, gunshots, and several public controversies have paved Megan's way to success. So, what hides behind the tough and empowered image of this rising star? Keep watching to know the tragic life story of Megan Thee Stallion. Megan was born on February 15, 1995, and she oh, shit. grew up I in the studio. Know she Her mother, Holly Elise Thomas, known as Hollywood, was also a rapper, and she would always bring Megan to recording sessions instead of putting her in daycare. Oh, mom's got rap. Yo, do a mom's got the bars too? You know what I mean? Like, hold on, put me on. Raised almost only by Holly during the first eight years of her life because her father, Joe Pete, was in jail for weapon charges. Holly yeah. was probably the greatest influence on Megan's life, not only for her passion for rap, but also because she helped her build a strong character. Megan has reported that she was bullied when she was in elementary school. In an interview with Billboard, Megan admitted that she didn't know how to handle it, but her mother encouraged her to stand up for herself. Megan ended up confronting the bully and learned a valuable lesson. Quote, she must have like always can't been so. let anybody tell you that you're not a queen. This experience and her mother's advice would stay with her for the rest of her life. And Megan would never let anyone push her around again. When Megan's father was released from jail, they were together every day. Megan explained to Mary Claire that her father was definitely her best friend. He was also a very loving man and deeply respected Megan's mother. This love was a positive influence for Megan, and it taught her not to settle for less or lower her standards. Sadly, Megan's father passed away when she was 15. Oh, the beginning damn. of Megan's career. Megan started writing her own songs when she was only 14 years old, after years of seeing her mom in the studio. The rapper says that as her mother was working on her own music, Megan was actually learning from her. Quote, That's smart. I was in there writing too. She'll be over her instrumentals doing her thing, but I'll be in there, secretly putting it together in my head. Megan kept her talent hidden from Holly because she was concerned that her lyrics were too suggestive for a girl her age. But when she turned 18, she finally let her mother hear her rap. In the beginning, Holly told Megan that she needed to wait until she was 21 to pursue her career, and once Megan turned that age, Holly became her biggest support and her manager. Hey, she was a constant moms. presence in the studio and backstage of Megan's concerts. Megan's mother also encouraged her to go to university, and she supported her daughter's decision to start studying health administration. Sadly, Megan's mom passed away in March of 2019 after being diagnosed with a cancerous brain tumor. It was heartbreaking for Megan. The rapper shared the news on Instagram with a picture of Holly and herself as a kid and the caption, quote, the best mom in the whole world, the strongest woman on the planet. I can't even her mom that is together so. right now. R.I.P. Mama. Unfortunately, Megan didn't have the chance to mourn her mother in peace because there were some conspiracy theories surrounding her death. Basically, people were saying that Holly's death was linked to Megan's success. NFL player oh, Larry Johnson tweeted, quote, A coincidence? Her mother, who was her manager, died in the month of March 2019, the same month of her breakout. Music industry filled with the easily corrupted fatherless children looking for Satan to be the daddy they never had. Yo, that is wild to, like, put that out there like that. That's wild. Like, come on, bro. Like, who are you, bro? Megan defended herself and replied to Larry on another tweet, 
quote, just because you found out about me around the time my mother passed does not make what you were saying accurate. Facts. And then she added, quote, stop trying to associate my mother having a brain tumor with the fucking devil. Two uh. weeks after the death of Holly, Megan's great grandmother also died. This almost Damn, broke the rapper, but she kept trying to push forward. Quote, I've been trying to do good, been trying to keep a smile on my face, stay strong, to stay happy for me and my other grandmother and the rest of my family. It's pretty hard. That's crazy. 2019 and 2020 have definitely been the best years of Megan's career, and she has now collaborated with artists like Nicki Minaj and, and it's old. I think it's like two. Some of her songs have gone viral, and there are several TikTok challenges related to Megan's songs. However, along with the Stallion's success, came more tragedies. On July 12, 2020, after she was leaving a party at 4.30 a.m. with rapper Tory Lanez, Megan suffered two gunshot wounds and had to undergo surgery to have the bullets removed. According to witnesses, Megan and Tori were inside a SUV at the scene and then sped off. When the police located it, they found Tori and Megan with her friend Kelsey Nicole and a gun. There is footage that shows the moment when the police ordered Megan and Tori to leave the vehicle and put their hands in the air, while Megan's feet leave traces of blood on the sidewalk. That's crazy. Yeah, I've seen this video. That's crazy, bro. Like, they see Shorty injured. All right, so this is one thing I didn't understand. Um, at this point, um, why didn't the, why they had her moving so much? You know what I mean? I've gotten stopped by the police plenty of times. I even, even had like high risk traffic stops on me done. And like, bro, it's obvious you can tell that Shorty is in like some skin tight shit. So nothing could be hidden there. You see that she's wounded. Her hands are up. There's nothing in her hands. Why don't you let tell her to get down on the ground and then y'all come? Cause she's far enough, for far enough from the vehicle, where yeah, you know I mean you can have her go down, have anybody, any of the other other occupants come out. Yeah, you know I mean boom, boom, boom. If there's shit to pop off, y'all can pop off. And she's a safe distance. I don't understand why they had her keep moving, but I need to hear it. See, and they still came up like it's fucking stupid. There were many rumors going around about what happened that night. Some people hmm. said that both Megan and Tori had been arrested, and some explained Megan's injuries were a result of her stepping on broken glass inside the car. However, three days after the incident, on July 15th, Megan posted an explanation on Instagram. Quote, I suffered gunshot wounds as a result of a crime that was committed against me and done with the intention to physically harm me. Then she added, quote, I was never arrested. The police officers drove me to the hospital where I underwent surgery to remove the bullets. After the incident during a live stream on Instagram, Megan confirmed that it was actually Tori Lanes who shot her. Megan Which says she crazy, didn't initially bro, say anything to the police life. because she was scared and that Lanes had shot her from the backseat of the SUV when she attempted to walk out of the vehicle during an argument. On another live stream, Megan said, quote, I didn't tell the police what happened immediately right there because I didn't want to die. And then she went what? on to say wow. that it was super crazy. scary for her. I'm not going to let y'all keep playing in my face. And I'm not going to let this nigga keep playing in my face either. Yes, this nigga Tory shot me. You shot me and you got your publicists and your people going to these blogs lying and shit. Stop lying. I didn't tell the police nothing because I didn't want us to get in no more trouble than what we was already about to get in. Oh. The fuck? I get to the motherfucking hospital, the police bitch being so rude to me. Well, what, you know, what's going on? Like that. Lanes ended up posting bail and was released that same morning. He had claimed that he didn't shoot Megan and that he's being framed. Megan later revealed that she had been offered money by Lanes and his team to not say anything about the incident. Since then, there has been a restraining order issued against Lanes and he needs to stay at least 100 yards away from Megan and he can't contact her. After that traumatizing incident, Megan decided to speak out against the violence that black women are still suffering. 
as she told the New York Times, quote, Black women are still constantly disrespected and disregarded in so many areas of life. I was recently the victim of an act of violence by a man. After a party, I was shot twice as I walked away from him. We were not in a relationship. Truthfully, I was shocked that I ended up in that place. A celebration of life. On November 20th, 2020, Megan released her debut album, Good News. According to critics, quote, her beats are more playful and popier than ever, but anchored in rap and R&B staples. She even has a song put, called put Shots Fire that sang- Put us on, Shots Fire. I'm gonna have to, you know what I mean? Check that out too, but I'm gonna have to check out that album. Too. Samples the notorious B.I.G.'s Who Shot Ya, in which she references the incident with Tory Lanez and compares the bullets she was shot with to pellets that don't hurt her because she is tall and strong. Today, at only 25 years old, Megan continues to grow as a rapper, as a university student, and as a person. Did she has she almost no school? family left, and she has faced many challenges in both her career and her personal life, but she continues to prove that she is tough, powerful, and capable. Megan is already a star, but she is so young and talented that we know there is a lot more to come her way. Hopefully, only good things. Do you think Megan will keep using the obstacles that life puts on her way and turning them into rhymes? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below. Mm, that was cool, man. I, I rock with that. That gave me a lot more information than I knew about Meg. So, yeah, shout out to whoever uh, put this video. I'm going to link that shit in the description. But, uh, yeah, um, let me know. If y'all like me doing these and everything like that, too, let me know in the comment who should I do next. And, I mean, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. That's Mr. J. Bad.